Hello again, it's Azac C2 and today it's come to mind that a little girl who was missing for 18 days from a campsite in Carnarvon in the northern part of Western Australia almost became a living version of Pinkie Pie from Equestrian Girls. Cleo Smith was snatched from her family's tent while they were camping at the Blowholes campsite in Carnarvon. Cleo and her parents are Carnarvon locals and it's believed they go to the Blowholes once a year every spring. She was taken from the tent, sleeping bag and all, by a, a certain Terence Kelly who happened to be one of their neighbours. It is believed Kelly stalked Cleo's family on Facebook and he, he was traced to the crime because he left a shoe print on the scene. And there was also some work that involved you know, the collecting the police collecting mobile phone signals from the area which led them to him yes all this is all this technology stuff is hush hush they will never review any of it to the public like you know <laughs> their work is cloak and dagger like their counterparts in china so what if australia is a democracy <laughs> who cares Anyway, back to Cleo Smith. Well, Terence Kelly was traced by the shoe print and by the mobile phone signals. He said that he let that he said that uh, he he was led to believe Cleo was in the tent because her bicycle was left outside, and he admitted snatching her by telling her that her baby sister was sick and they, the, the sisters needed to stay apart until her younger sister was better. It's a good thing that the borders were closed because she could have otherwise been smuggled out of state. When the news first broke, when the news first broke out, it was like Madeleine McCain all over again. Madeleine McCain was a British toddler who, who disappeared from Algarve in Portugal in 2007 and was, has never been seen again. I mean, it's believed she has been murdered, but apparently the only suspect in the case, he has got a, a fairly strong alibi and the case against him collapsed. There's been much speculation that her parents may be complicit in her disappearance. And there was a lot of vitriol thrown at Cleo Smith's parents on the same note. After Cleo was taken by Terence Kelly, her hair was cut off and dyed pink. Kelly had a collection of Brad's dolls in his house and he wanted to turn Cleo into a living, breathing doll. Kelly might sound creepy. I mean, well, he is creepy. But then again, this guy needs help. He's going to need all the help he gets when he's in prison. I mean, locking him up in solitary confinement and throwing the key away certainly won't help. It's not going to help him, it's not going to help society, not at all. As for Cleo, Kelly's gas lighting might stay with her forever. Although she shows no sign of physical injury, 
I mean, she might have PTSD as a result of what happened. The most we can do is pray for her family and pray for her recovery. As much as we you know, find the corrupt WA police force a pain in the butt at times, this time they acted quickly and the child was saved. Otherwise, <laughs> some you know, mysterious vigilante might have to mount a black ghost style operation to rescue her from, from Terence Kelly and he might not show mercy to Terence Kelly at all those who watch Anthony Chila's Black Ghost would know what I mean Black Ghost is the name of an assassin It's based on a graphic novel by Sean Schliwa who also stars as the title character Black Ghost was released in winter of 2018 and it's currently available to be streamed If you can search oh, Anthony Chilab's Black Ghost on Google, please feel free to stream it. WA Independent Cinema needs your support. Thank you very much.